Hey, good morning, Erica. Yeah, this is a hot spot for people to come and drive through and check out these Christmas lights here at Windermere Place. This is right off of Low Road, and sometimes um, the line of cars is out backed up onto Low Road because this is so popular. So we're, we're introducing you to some of the families behind these elaborate displays, and we have one right here, the McDowell family. We have Nick here and his family, part of his family. We've got one daughter still asleep, right? And she loves her beauty sleep. And I don't blame her at all, but looking at this masterpiece, how long does it take you and your family to put this up? We start a little bit before Thanksgiving each year, get most of it up and set up, and then just keep adding up until Christmas Day. Okay, well, we have your daughter Ava and Carrie with us, but we're going to leave them because I want to walk you, walk with you this way. And let's talk about um, the Ferris wheel on top of your house. <laughs> so the Ferris wheel, this is our fifth Christmas here, and each year we add, we try to add something new. And the Ferris wheel, we got it constructed last year and put up on the side yard. But this year, with a little help of Christmas magic, we... Made Got it, it up on top of the house. It is incredible. I see Santa Claus on top. How many blow-ups do you guys have? Uh, we have right around 20 blow-ups currently and a few more that will be showing up here soon. What is it about this that, that you love so much? I hear that you, you used to drive through here with your kids. You used yeah, to be so working the neighborhood. This being our fifth Christmas and our daughters are 13 and 11, we started driving through here when they were born. And they loved it. We loved it. Uh, I worked in the neighborhood for years prior to moving into the neighborhood, so I knew what to expect, and I had to, I had to do a lot to fit in. I mean, it looks like you fit in just fine, or maybe you stand out a little bit. Looking over here, you have another really cool display. What's happening on this side of the house? So on the other side of the house here, we have the polar plunge, and these penguins, they actually go up to the top, and then they will drop down. Oh, my gosh. And you also have a place for kids to submit letters to Santa, right? We do. So we have a mailbox that's new this year as well, and... It's been fun to see the kids and hear them dropping off their letters and oh my gosh. helping spread the joy with them this Christmas. What's it been like? What's the traffic been like coming in and out of the neighborhood uh, just this month? It, it's, it's very busy, yeah. very busy. Uh, we're, we're at the front of the neighborhood, so it's a little easier for us to get in and out. Absolutely. Uh, but we love it. No, no complaints at all. Hearing the kids as they're driving through and just seeing the joy on everybody's faces is, is, makes it all worthwhile. Oh, we love it. We love people with the Christmas spirit who do things like this. For us who get to enjoy it for free, this is off of Low Road, um, Ashfield Lane uh, is what we are on right now. So you can come and drive through here. Most lights are going to be up um, till about New Year's. The neighbors will have them up. But this is just such a joy to go through, guys. I recommend you put it on your list and check it out this week. Alex, that Ferris wheel on the roof is next level. I've never, I've never Amazing. seen one like that before. That's impressive. Yeah. Awesome stuff, Alex. Thank you.